So this year has been extremely dry in this region of Vermont. Uh, we seem to be right on the, the northern cusp of it, but um, we've experienced a very dry spring, April, May, June. We've gotten a few limited showers here and there, but uh, normally here in the first week of August, these pastures would be pretty lush and green. Uh, the cattle have grazed through them once earlier through May and early June, and now they're on their second rotation, and there's very little growth. Well, this crack in this clay soil, the whole Northeast and other areas of the country have certainly been um, seeing the effects of drought adding up over the years. Um, the last few years, we've had extremely dry late summer, early falls. Um, here in this region of the state of Vermont, we haven't had a tremendous amount of snowfall in the winter. So we don't have the snow melts in the spring. So we're going into springs drier than we traditionally had 15, 20 years ago. And with the exception of last year, which was a very wet June for this part of the state, we just haven't had you know, adequate rainfall through July and August and September the last several years. This drought's affected hay production. Our first cutting of hay was, I would say below average, but it wasn't, uh, it wasn't horrible. I know our second cut here on this farm was about 50% of normal. We've always had a saying in Vermont, if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes and it'll change. So <laughs> we're used to volatile weather, but it seems like years of late and maybe going back, you know, eight or 10 years, there seems to be no normal anymore. We used to be able to have predictable spring rains, predictable fall rains, um, winter snow cover. Here in the Champlain Valley where we're located the last several years, we've had very minimal snow cover. The context for this drought starts in the winter and spring. What we've had a pattern for the last several years is very little snowfall in the winter and very little rain in the spring. And one of the things that the land surface does as the temperature gets hotter is of course evaporate the water that was delivered in the winter and spring. And we haven't been getting that for the last several years. So we're sort of seeing a baked parch landscape. The earth is trying to cool, it's evaporating that water, but there's not a big uh, reserve there to evaporate. So we have drying soils, uh, stress on agriculture, stress on, on uh, drinking supply. The pattern of these sustained droughts, lack of rainfall in the spring, small snow accumulation in our winters here, does seem connected with this sort of locked jet that you may have heard of, this Arctic vortex that brings a big wave of atmospheric, uh, dry, cold air from the Arctic. Uh, but that air is so dry, it hasn't been giving us much snow in the winter, and then the spring that follows have been unusually dry. And so climate scientists associate this change in our weather patterns with the warming in the Arctic, which is clearly due to us.